five in the hallway. You have two entrances. Hey Sam, do you want to see Pulp Fiction after school at the Coliseum? It came out last weekend and Todd won't shut up about it, so either it's good or we can make fun of him for liking it. My mom is supposed to cook dinner for us? Question marks, question marks. Tonight for a change, but I can just ditch out on it probably. What time? Also, isn't that movie supposed to be really violent? Am I going to barf? Yes. According to Todd, it's pretty hardcore. I guess Uma Thurman gets stabbed in the heart with a heroin needle, so that's kind of hilarious. Hilarious? Is that hilarious to you, Lonnie? Also, something about cheeseburgers is important. Todd wants to see it again. 7.15, okay? Don't barf. Haha, <laughs> right, see you there. Barf. Nah, you're going throw up. That's real. I was very uncomfortable. Why do we have like a million of the same plants in this house? We have gloves and rubber gloves when handling like anything in this room. So dark. And it. Oh. This is my parents' room. Just left our purse here. People that has like a million of them. So I can't call anyone. Dear mom, dad, and Sam, I am in the channel. This is my second passage through the channel. I'm on my way back from London, this time going to Brussels, Belgium. Sorry I didn't write you on the way to London, but I was too excited about the channel. Why did you write it that way? London was great. Dad, I know you've always wanted to visit, and I think you really should. You'd love it. If you all wanted to come back, here's only sometimes I guess I could be convinced. And love you all, Katie. Okay. Ugh. Unknown dimension literature. Uh, communication must become total and conscious before it. We can stop. Okay. <laughs> Looks like someone left in a rush. I like that your clothes are just photos of clothes. I don't have this level of organization. This is my level of organization. Oh! Hello! Hi parents. Put this there. At least you're not having a sister. Come on. Or a brother. Look, they're too old to be having babies. Is what I'm saying. What a mess. Mom's bras, underwear. Mom, you don't have one designated underwear drawer. It's just like sheets and then a sock and so. Uh, Butch Cassidy in the Sundance Kid. Fugitive or President's Men. Are these just movies you taped? Uh, Silence of the Lambs, great. Like, I need to be rem reminded of horror while I'm searching through your room. Dear Jan, oh honey, let me tell you, I understand how you feel. Bob and I have had our down periods. It's become a bit of a way of life actually. You get used to each other, you live your own lives in the same house, the kids grow up, they go away. I'm sorry this isn't helping is it? Don't worry, Terry will get over whatever's distracting him. Things will go back to normal and as for Sam being distant that's a teenager for you. 
Nothing to worry about. In the meantime, though, this controlled burn, that sounds like quite... Good. The adventure. But let's cut to the chase. This new ranger they sent. That's what I want to hear about. Ranger Rick? You have to be kidding me. It's too perfect. You have to tell me everything. And send pictures. I want the whole package. Wait, that sounded wrong. <laughs> send me dick pics, Jan. Keep your chin up until Terry is out of his slump. And in the meantime, write more letters to your old friend Carol. She adores them. So... This woman, Carol, is just like, absolutely take photos of Ranger Rick, get them developed, and then send them to me? Come on. Take your time, I'm glad I have it. In Mom? There's so many three ring binders I can't open. Oh no. Oh, I never found the code to... Sam's thing. Do I need it? I like watercolors, I'm not reading that. You have like a walk in closet. And you're not using the space. It's with It's the bathroom. Black fry. Is that our evil twin family, the Blackfriars? Hairbrush. She left your toothbrushes behind. Cinnamon? Cinnamon. What? Yeah. I wouldn't brush my teeth with cinnamon mint flavored. Wow, that's a bath. That's a lovely bath. This is terrible lighting though. Candles, shampoo, that's towels, toilet paper, toilet paper. I don't need to throw the toilet paper around. Ugh. After the honeymoon, recovering your spouse personally is pretty oh. They're having problems, Katie. Chill. You're an adult. Turn off the lights. I'm scared the house is gonna burn down. Katie, just grow up, okay? Your parents, they just... They're having problems. Is that just a window? Two windows. Okay. Alright. So, still gotta go that way. I need to find the code for some thing, but I haven't. Should I look around still? Wasn't something on here? Could it be that? One zero one seven. Ah, oh, too easy. <sighs> Did I look through your drawers? I have so many three ring binders in this family. Stop it. That's bad for the environment. Hmm. I don't know. Is that here? Do I just like overlook everything all the time? That's just I can't really read any of that. It's because your room is so messy, child. Cartridge. Wasn't this one, was it? Uh, there's no numbers. Give me numbers. Is there numbers in here? Oh no, then I'll never get it. Hold on. No, I fucking can't see anything. <laughs> okay, so it's probably not that. How about this one? This one's just titties. Hey. Zero, 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 zero. I already tried that though. 
damn it. I mean, these are codes, but they're not numbers. Not in here, is it? Two? Is two one of the numbers? Let's try one, one, nine, two. <sighs> Should I know? so obvious. It could be the incident number because you like, well that's too long though. Uh, let's try 6969. 69. She is a teenager. That would work. <sighs> what is the number? One triple eight because we missed the old house. <sighs> should I just give up on this? I should just give up on this, right? Nineteen sixty five. Oh, wait, nineteen. Ah, I don't know my sister well enough. <sighs> There's something in my inventory. No, not really. I should just try 1994. It would make no sense. But let's try. Fuck sense. Fine. What is the whole way not over light? I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I very much don't like this. Katie, mom and dad were going to make up the guest room for you to stay in over the summer, but you came home on such short notice that they weren't around to do it. You can use my room if I want. I won't be needing it anymore. Sam? Did I time travel? Hey Sam, you were asking what's my eight ribbons meant. Here's a handy guide. Orienteering, this means the army thinks I find my way around. Rifle team, the army has. Rat me as a certified killing machine. Adventure training, I am a born adventurous and no borders can hold me. The armor recognizes this, so if you didn't think I was cool before, now you do. Not ED. Did you join the army? Composition. Ghost Hunter Journal. I hate this. Sighting Journal. A tall shadow in the upstairs hall. When I rounded the corner, no one was there. How tall was Uncle Oscar? Note, I was not wearing my glasses. Oh, this is, uh, a faint voice coming from the bottom of the stairs. It, I said hello. Did not investigate probably the furnace. 
furnace. Poured milk from cotton in fridge. It was spoiled, pretty sure. I read that spirits can sour milk. Milk was just bought yesterday. Maybe you didn't read the day. Lani says she feels her presence in our TV room. I suddenly begin to feel cold. We build a protective pillow fort. Oh, is that what that was? Lani and I employ Ouija... No! Disturbing messages are conveyed from the other side. Oscar is definitely here. Enlisted Lani to stay up all night and help patrol premises, recording any signs of otherworldly presence. Lani reported many sightings, but all remained unconfirmed. Possible exoplasm in the attic, probably leaky roof. Sample taken just in case, despite due to our best efforts, we both fell asleep around 4 a.m. I don't like this. Is this my stuff? Oh my god, am I the ghost? <gasps> I've been throwing everything around. I'm the ghost. Is this a guest room or is this my room? Oh, I really don't like this. Sam's dark room, do not enter if the red lights are on. Yeah, it's like, huh? I'm so scared. Uh, performance valuation. Ooh, exemplary. Rick. Oh, this is Rick. Uh, he's indispensable during the course of the prescribed burn preparation execution. His expertise and dedication very deciding factor in the success of very complex and challenging conservation effort. The opinion of the Flintlock Forest staff contribution to daily operations have become essential to the outfit's continuing success. To this end, I will be formally submitting paperwork requesting his permanent reassignment to this facility. Ooh, mom. Okay, so mom had an affair. She painted some lovely flowers. Just left them there. Uh, Halloween show! The misfits, they're awesome. Don't forget your costume. Sometimes you just have to lie to mom and dad. Like when Lonnie asked me to see a band with her and stay over at her friend's place in the city after. That's a lie to mom and dad situation. But it was so worth it. The girls on stage were just so loud and real and awesome. And everybody was moving together like one huge tide of sound. Between two songs, Lonnie leaned over and said, how do you like your first show? I was so happy. I felt tears starting in my eyes. And then she up and hugged me. I think she could tell. She could tell what? That you lied to your parents? Or that you like really enjoyed your show? Do you know what? I fucking hate the psycho house. I hate it. Yes, cats. Me too. It's so dark. All the time. My eyes are already bad. Ugh, I can't see anything. Whoa! It should not be that easy to open, let me tell you. Heavens to Betsy, calculated. as the characters from her book. That's so gay, I love it. What's this? Healthy choices. Just throw yourself into the sky. Okay. 
Did I die in Amsterdam? City room, sewing room. So we've just got the attic. And then this I think was locked. Was it? Pack. That's cool. Oh! Please tell me that's her die. Okay, cool. Red right hand. Semi permanent. I feel like I've bought a bottle of this. Oh. Lonnie brought her hair dye over today. She said, I need to fix these roots. Think you could help? Dying hair is weirdly intimate. I don't know if I've touched someone else's scalp before. That's pretty intimate, right? It felt intimate. We looked into the mirror together after, and I expected her to say something about how it looked crappy, or good, or whatever. But that's when she said, You're so beautiful. And she was looking at me. Right in that moment, I wanted to say something, but I waited. And the moment was gone. Ooh. Sam, you made a fucking mess is what you did though. You need to clean that up. That tub is never going to be the same. And all we have is white towels. Are you joking? scared of the attic but I guess we're going oh guess we're not but we still got the really rich black area downstairs to explore which I'm not excited for at all especially since Uncle Oscar might be haunting this house besides me this door was locked Ah, him. Then what the hell am I supposed to do? <sighs> we don't have keys for these. How can they be locked? Did I do that? Oh no. Uncle Harvey? I supposed to do? Basement's locked, good to know. I can't go to the attic because it's locked. those creepy noises and I know that's just like old houses settling and whatever but it freaks me out Ugh. <sighs> cards I don't know what I still need this I don't know I'm really confused nice x-files poster Do they 
take all the other keys but they left the spare key and then also not tell me that they're moving oh did they like move without something else I missed. We did look at this, right? Yeah, it's that ghost hunting thing. This is my stuff. I can't even touch. Did I just throw the keys into the vent? What do these people do? Oh. Dear Jan, it's so good to hear from you again. All this new house business sounds like quite the adventure. Remember the little dorm room we shared freshman year when we were miserable fantasizing about our own dream homes? I always said I wanted a mansion, you said you just wanted a house in the woods. Look, I got both! Someday... Somebody up there likes you. I could use some of that magic. Send me some lotto numbers, I'll play them. Seriously. But I shouldn't be complaining about this good old split level we, we've we had since Bob got transferred to Winnipeg. You just got new vinyl siding. Jealous yet? Let me know if you ever want to trade places. So how are the girls doing? Has Casey left on her big European adventure yet? Speaking of jealous, right back. Soon I miss you, Rumi, Carol. You're all so nice. Do we see this? Oh. Uh, 60 died peacefully at home. This was born in 1933. Would be some for the rest of his life. He attended the green farmers at a young age. Uh, quickly became a mother figure in the decades preceding his passing. and saw them sitting outside his home. Really survived by his nephew. Okay. Is that Lonnie? Oh, she's lovely. That's cute. Why did we put an obituary with a picture of your friend? Somehow I always knew that someday we will be through. Thank you for having Danny over to your new home. He has missed having his friend Samantha in the neighborhood very much. Danny asked if he could lend Samantha his Nintendo Street Fighting tape, and I gave my permission. He needs to spend less time with those games anyway. No hurry, returning it. Let Samantha know that she is welcome back at our house at any time. Right. When you live in one place your whole life, your next door neighbor is kind of like your default friend. And Daniel only got weirder over the years. So moving away has been a good excuse to, like, not see him anymore. But he did always have the good Nintendo games. Maybe I'll give him a call. a secret thing. Heard enough. Heard enough. Heavens to Betsy. Kicking against the patriarchy. Uh, 
This one's for you, Grossman. She's tougher than a wild mustang. No female's gonna tell me yuck. Hard enough, fat enough. Ready to join the revolution and take a stand against Grossman? Plus the patriarchy. Yeah, fight back. Rev one Lucian. Girl, Captain A, stand up. Maybe just. Maybe you just want more cool scenes, or maybe even a mixtape. Send us your misses. Oh, you guys are selling these? So cute. Is there anything on the letter? No. Okay. Potato chips? We're a tortilla chip family. What's this? Girl, justice now. You guys are adorable. Woman out no. Oh! Oh, you rewrote. Well, you just. Oh, next up. Heavens to Betsy, terrorist. Okay. No record player down here, is there? No, there is. Oh, it's too loud. I'm too old. Okay. Costumes, guys, and the devil's jelly does from Smells Like Teen Sprite video. One girl dressed as Jackie Kennedy. Psycho house girl. The coolest stuff about being the psycho house girl. The cool thing one, everybody in the hall thinking you don't know they're looking at you and whispering as you walk past because I guess they haven't heard of peripheral. That's a lie to mom and dad situation, but it was so worth it. The girls on stage were just so loud and real and awesome. Everybody was moving together like one huge. Well, that's when your little diary things that I've been reading. That's a sock. I go down this spooky side or the other spooky side? This is a panel. Oh. Okay. I hate this so much. There's a lamp. Thank you. Here. Multiple lamps. Light switch even. Would be nice. Can't see anything. Espanol. This is... Hey Lonnie, sorry my mom was such a bitch last night. She hardly ever around since her forest is like an hour away and then she is home. She takes it out on you. Like, because you're not a member of the family, she knows you won't call her on it. And I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay. No, she's just jealous of our cool and freewheeling lifestyles. I'm sorry for you. I'm lucky my mom lives in Florida. You have to have a mom every day. Sorry, I didn't mean to bring up the mom thing like that. I know I just shouldn't complain. No, I'm being serious. My mom is a psycho Christian and her new husband, Don, is a complete dual living in Florida with him. Is her eternal punishment in my mind. So you wouldn't rather live with your mom in Florida? Whoa. That's a hard no. Why do you keep all your notes in binders? Uh, promotion due to your exemplary management prescribed on last year. The service need for experienced personnel is direct regional region operation. We would like to offer you the position of regional conversation with management director responsible for operations that are the Northwestern Oregon assistance. We sought to fill your previous position on site. Blah, blah 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 please respond okay well, so we got a new job everything's too dark I cannot see ba -da -ba -ba. Let's just walk into the darkness ah that's it oh where did I come from Okay, this is... Earth, wind, and fire! Cute. No cameras. Where am I? Am I behind the locked door? Sam, the skull was the coolest thing I found in Mexico. It was like three bucks. Oh, she's in Mexico. Oh, 
What does that say? Guardian angels up above, bless his house with lots of love. Fuck you. What's this? Uh, shampoo, set, color, chrome. It seems expensive. A dining room? Ah, oh, we have so many presses. Hi, Jan. I got two tickets for Earthwind Fire on Thursday, but my girlfriend says she doesn't want to go. Okay, that was a weird advice. Uh, her taste in music is weird, it's ugly yet again, so that means. Leaves me with an extra ticket, so I thought you might be interested in more fun than clearing the brush in the freezing rain, right? We have a job to do, Rick. But you can't just go gallivanting around watching concerts if no one's there to look after the fucking forest. What is this? How many of these did you guys- did you draw one and then copy them? Sam, since you refused to hear us out this afternoon, your mother and I are putting this in writing so that we are absolutely cured. You are grounded for the rest of the month from social and telephone privileges and from using your car for anything except going to and from school. We understand that you are going through, but we can't allow you to continue with this kind of behavior at school. And clearly, once your privileges are reinstated, we can't allow you to have your bedroom door closed while Lonnie is at the house. This is, this is the last word on the matter. Get back on course so we don't have to happen again. Name? Samantha, teacher. Distributing inappropriate materials on school grounds. Phone call to students' parents out of school suspension. I had an interesting talk with mom and dad tonight. One you were never gonna need to have. I mean, you've known, right? I've known. I've known since, like, she -Ra. Mom and dad didn't, I guess. But they saw the zine and the stuff on the locker, and they were like, is there something we should know about you and Lonnie? And so here's the thing. I was prepared for them to be mad, or disappointed, or start crying, or something. But they were just in denial. You're too young to know what you want. You and Lonnie are just good friends. You just haven't met the right boy. It's a phase. That's what I didn't see coming. That they wouldn't even respect me enough to believe me. Well, joke's on them, because they're in for one very long phase. That's fine. Where the hell is... <laughs> no parts in heaven. Uh, the Vatican is weird. As you can see, the Catholic Church still has a lot of money left over from the Middle Ages. I've gotten to see all the art, including the Sistine Chapel ceiling and the sculptures by Michelangelo, Donatello, and the rest of the Ninja Turtles. Mom, will have to come back together. I would love to be here with someone who really appreciates the history behind everything. Also, Sam, they have various relics, as in pieces of important dead people, so you should probably come too. Next stop, Barcelona. Calm down, Dad. I won't be good get gored by a bull, probably. That's cute. Almost died. What happened? Like... I mean, is this all because she has a thing for her friend? So what? You gonna just disappear? Best of congratulations! Janice, Greenbrier Regional Director, and I say congratulations because, come on, you're going to take the job, right? What are you even waiting for? An engraved invitation? Call them back. But in the meantime, let's discuss this little outing you had with our favorite flannel-clad hunk. What a blast. You sound like you're reading a lot into an innocent night out. 
You're sure there's something there? He said he has an out of town girlfriend. You're sure they're not serious? Okay, so we have to figure out when we'll me when we see each other in person. Enough with the letters. I owe you a congratulatory margarita, boss lady. I love Carol, and I love her little papers. I used to write letters on papers like those for my friends in primary school. I didn't have a lot of friends. Ah, ah, fucking doors. Ah, a button. Oh shit. The gits. This is very English book up here. You're American, yes, we're in Portland. The accidental warrior. Okay, I'm not gonna put it in the trash, that would be a bit mean. <laughs> not that anyone is here. Okay, so. Where am I now? I'm in, I'm in the dying di room. Oh, there's another fucking hallway? This house is ridiculous. Sam's schedule working at Crown Burger Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. This room is Jonathan Blair. Request the honor of your presence in marriage with their daughter, Helen Margaret. I need these. When's the milk expiring? Jeez. Oh, gross. Sorry. <laughs> a box of fish sticks. We don't need fish sticks. Veggies. Veggies. Why did they leave everything? Hold on. Fuck. A lot of pizza in this house, don't they? Cutting board. Mugs. I feel like cleaning up, to be honest. I don't know if those are clean or not. There's an entire drawer missing. June. Katie, come home this month. We'll call with exact date. Can't make it send regrets. Rick's wedding. Anniversary trip. Oh, okay. Uh, charity junk pickup basement. Dentist. Forest strip. Church potluck. Crushing elementary public areas. What day is it? Do I know? Do I have like something that tells me what day it is? When did I land? Where is this? June 6th. Okay. So they're on a trip. Possibly. You went on a trip and you knew I was coming home. That's what you did. Congratulations on your new position. You received your acceptance letter. Good job, Mom. Do we have so many three ring binders that I can't open? Ah! What am I gonna do with this? <laughs> food, 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 food. No. Kitchen. Bottles. I don't think that's important. Nothing in the oven. Ugh. Oh, where 
am I now? The garage. Sam, your mother and I will be away for the long weekend celebrating our anniversary, June 3 to 7. We will be camping in the gorge, but we will give you a call. Um, something. Oh, on the way home. Sorry, the kitchen is still... Neo renovation? Never trust a contract of $40 on the table and order pizza while well, we're gone. Well, she ordered pizza, that's for sure. Where the fuck did she go? If y'all are out... Okay. Sam, you work at Crown Burger. Ask me about clown combos, I will not. Lonnie, my parents are leaving town, so we'll be the run of the whole house till you leave. Imagine actually spending time the night in my room instead of sneaking up to our usual spot in the attic. Not that the attic doesn't have its musty. It's warmer. Sam, we should defile your parents' bed while they're gone. That'll show them. Lonnie, you are so gross. Please tell me you did not fuck in my parents' bed. That's really weird. Okay, garage. Let's turn that off. I still don't know how to get into the basement. What's this? Ah. And I still do not know. There's so many sliding doors. Uh, okay, so I don't know how to get into the basement, and I don't know what the code is. So. There's so many things I don't know. Pointed out Girl Scouts. Lonnie had her going away show with her band tonight. She's so incredible on stage. When she was singing, I could practically forget everything. That we only had 48 hours left. That I don't know what comes next. That I can't live without her. Then she dedicated the last song to me. And I couldn't take it. I was out on the curb in the alley, sobbing till my ribs hurt. I would follow her anywhere, Katie. But I can't. Where she's going. After a long time, she found me. She said she was sorry. She said, I wish things could be different. I just wanted to make you happy. I said, I don't think you can anymore. No. What is this? Where did this come from? A hole here. I need to turn the brightness up on my screen. I cannot see this. Hi, Mom, Dad, and Sam. I've had a wonderful time on the beaches of Barcelona. Dad and Sam, I think you would like the Gordy architecture. It is from a strange alien world. I am headed to my final destination, Amsterdam. For how long? That depends. I'm running low on money. I will look for a cheap standby ticket and call you when I'm headed home. Sorry for the short notice, can't wait to see you again. It'll be good to be home. Love, Katie. Okay. They knew I was coming. And then, nothing. That's a weird thing to read on the toilet. Cleansing powder, toilet paper, okay. Is this another bathroom? Oh, the washing room. This house is so big. It's so annoying. How do you find anything in this place? Oh, 
of the same plants that we have in all of the house. Dear Kaz, I can't tell you what a joy it is to see John Russell back in Britain. Thank you very much for the uh, for sending along copies of the new editions. The cover art is really something. I know you said that Unknown Dimension isn't in the business of printing new material. But this revived interest in my work has brought on a wave of inspiration, so resulting in a manuscript that completes John Russell's journey, which I think you will find intriguing. It is reflective and introspective without forgetting the excitement and weirdness that Unknown Dimension readers expect. I hope this might be an exciting new direction for Unknown Dimension to pursue. At the very least, I am grateful that John Russell's adventures didn't have to come to an end quite when I thought they had. Thanks and regards. Cool. How many typewriters do we have in this house? It's been almost 20 years since John Russell heard the call. Twice he saved the president's life. He's practically forgotten the days of the future of danger and excitement. The dangers, there were days where he mattered. So when that familiar rip in time opens in front of him and his hand disappear out, he doesn't hesitate. Is the president in danger? No, the life you save this time will be your own. Ooh, that sounds fun. Da, 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 da. What's this? Midnight June 5 final preparations are complete. What? We agreed our last night together would be our happiest ever. And we'd forget tomorrow was going to come at all. It worked for a while. We had a good time seeing Oscar off. Then ran up to the attic to look through our photos. To find one for Lonnie to take with her. And looking at them, I realized they were all in the past. And there wouldn't be any more. I didn't know what I was going to do. And I cried. And she held me. She said she knew it was hard, but life would move on. I said I didn't want my life to keep moving without her. That's when she cried too. I was so exhausted. I must have fallen asleep like that, in her arms. In the morning, I woke up, and I was finally alone. Hey. Oh, I'm Katie Sab. That's a text. Okay. Oh, that's not a door I can use. Okay, let's go find the secret door. Wait, which way? This way. There's one loud fridge that we have. This is a weird place for a couch. Is this like a sunroom? Or do we just leave guests there? Is it here? Oh, come on. <sighs> no, Sam. Why do you have this? Honey snaps. Okay. Huh. The sunset light in this house is the saddest thing I've ever seen. I just want to sleep. When I'm in the attic, it almost feels like Lonnie could still be here. She's just downstairs. I'm just waiting to hear her pull down the hatch and come running up. Maybe I'll go up to the attic and wait. So I can go to the attic, but I can't go to the basement. Okay. 
Okay, let's go to the attic, I guess. Maybe I'll find a key for the basement. Hey, this pink X is showing me secret rooms, but you don't want to give me the, the fucking code to your thing. Tell me what the code is. What is it? I should zoom in to like looking, into like looking through your personal stuff. But I really want, I really want to know, Sam. What are you hiding in there? Cool. Okay. This isn't spooky at all. sleep in the attic and Lonnie in my old spot and I missed the first two calls I just just barely caught the third one before the machine got it and it was Lonnie on a payphone she'd been on the bus to basic and she said she couldn't she couldn't think of anything but me and us and that she couldn't go through with it with the army and being a part and all of it and so she got off the bus in Salem she said, Sam, I want you to pack up everything you can and get in your car and come find me. And let's just drive until we find somewhere for us. And she asked me if I could do that. And I said, yes. Yes. Paint your nails. You know me taking pictures of your nails, which are pretty really good. Cool. So. Katie, I'm so sorry that I can't be there to see you in person. That I can't tell you all that.
Well, that was cute. Also, I still don't know what's in the basement. Maybe that's where the ghost is. Like, skip the whole scary part of it. And also what the fucking combination is to her locker. Yeah, that's like an invasion of privacy. But I feel like I should be able to get in. But anyway, so that was Gone Home. Hope you enjoyed that. I thought it was really cute and kind of spooky. Probably not supposed to be spooky, but I am easily spooked. So there you have it. Enjoy. Hope you enjoyed. See y'all next time. Bye.